Welcome to another one of our work from home solutions. Today we're going to talk to you about the wireless mouse. Something that when you sit down to work at your computer and or your gaming station, you spend a lot of time on and it really is something that's important to have it right. Would you believe there's still people in my family that still use a wireless mouse or one that uses batteries and a wireless dongle? Well, if you don't know what a wireless dongle is, stick around. We'll talk about that more later in the video. So today in this review, we're going to show you a $16 mouse that really can improve your browsing and or gaming experience, even if the conditions I mentioned don't apply to you. Maybe you have a mouse that you're already really fond of or that works well for you. For $16, this is a great mouse to keep around just as a backup. Today, we're going to be talking to you about the KINDRM2. We're just going to call it Kindrum to make it easier. I hope. So this is a portable wireless mouse and at the time that we purchased it, it sold for $15.99 on Amazon. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at what's in the box. You might notice over here that I have another one of these mouses, but uh, here's a new one in the box. Well, first of all, there's the packaging, pretty basic, smaller box, comes in a larger box delivered from Amazon. You open it up, you get a little charging cord. You get a little, what I laughingly call, instructional booklet. And the mouse comes in a nice little packet, foam packet to protect it. It's not a bad idea to keep this around for transporting it too. So here I'm going to use this for illustrational purposes. Here's one of the um, mouses that I've been using that I use with one of my uh, desktops frequently. And it's still in use actually today. But I do prefer this mouse and we'll talk about why. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the dimensions. It's 4.4 inches long, 2.28 inches wide, and just under an inch thick. It has an ergonomic design. So let's talk about what that means. I'm going to set this other mouse over here to the side for now, but I do want to come back to that. So it, it's very simplistic in its design, but it all comes down to the way it fits in your hand. Let's flip it over. First of all, I'll place my hand on it with the way I would normally use it. I'm going to turn it over. Now, you see how it fits nicely into my hand, and when my hand is resting on it, the curvature that's formed in my hand is supported. I want you to think of it sort of like wearing a set of tennis shoes and you have arches in your feet and you have the arch support that fits into that arch and makes it feel snug so that when you're resting on it you don't get fatigued. Now let's come over here to the traditional style mouse that I've been using. I'm going to put my hand on it where I use it normally then I'm going to rotate that over and you can see there's a much bigger area of unsurfaced or supported area. Believe it or not this makes a huge difference in the fatigue that my hand feels when I'm using it for hours at a time, and I do use it for hours at a time, and my hand is resting on it. So this ergonomic design, even though it's very simplistic in its look, actually is very comfortable in its feeling. So the other thing about it that you'll note up there is it says it's symmetrical. So that simply just means is that um, it is the same on each side, and so that this can be switched to be used as a right or left hand mouse very similar. Uh, very easily rather. I have seen some mouses that because of their shape they really only lend themselves to most of the time right hand use. So let's talk about the surface of the mouse. First of all it talks about a smooth frosted surface so um, what I would say is if let's look at this mouse over here this would be uh, you know a shiny surface that doesn't have that frosted surface. Now the purpose of this smooth frosted surface as they describe it is it does help your hand or cut down on the tendency of your skin to perspire when it's resting on it. So they do call that an anti-sweat feature. Um, the, you'll note as I move my fingers around on it, it does also resist fingerprints for those people like myself that are kind of anal about that. Um, I have actually successfully put um, fingerprints on it when I'm eating with chicken or after eating chicken, but for the most part, I'm unable to put fingerprints on it. And the last thing too is this rubber wheel. Now, I know this sounds silly, but I can't tell you how nice this rubber wheel is. Let's take a look again at my traditional go-to mouse, or what I've used for years. This mouse 
It's more of a hard plastic. It does have a slight tacky texture to it, and it does have ribbing in it to help you roll it, but I, I can tell you that it's nothing compared to just the simple, sticky, wants to grab your finger rubber wheel that this mouse has. When you're going, when you're using it hour after hour, this is far more comfortable and effective, and it, it's just much more pleasant to use. Well, the next point the marketer makes is that it's ultra thin and portable. And as you can see behind me, they show it being slid into a thin sleeve along with a phone. And I can say that with its thin size compared to the mouse that I'm used to, when you are trying to get it into a thin slot like a pocket, especially a top shirt pocket, or maybe narrow sleeves in your briefcase, it does fit much nicer in there than a traditional mouse, which in this case, mine is probably twice as thick. So the picture here is actually the laptop case that I use. It has a lot of space and it's proven to be extremely strong and the pockets are nice for dividing things out. I typically stuff my gaming laptop in it, my Surface Pro, which is wrapped and by the way, an additional nylon or neoprene uh, protector. My iPad, also in a neoprene protector, and all of the cables and chargers and extra mice when I pack this thing around. I have not blown out this case and everything fits in there. So check out the link below if you're looking for a laptop case that can do all for you. The mouse is lightweight and um, speaking comparatively, this one is actually about, you know, actually because this one has a battery that you drop in instead of the rechargeable battery, this is actually heavier. Um, do you notice it when you're using it? Not really. Do you notice it when you're packing two or three of these along with everything else I pack around in my laptop case? Absolutely. It starts to add up. A good, strong, durable design as far as this plastic is concerned. And it's also durable by function. So these mice have been tested up to 5 million clicks. And I do a lot of clicking. But I don't think I'll ever click 5 million times, at least not in the amount of time I have left in my lifetime. The other thing I want to say is it has muted clicking, which is excellent if you're working in an office area or even at home with family members around. Clicking to someone else who's not working on a laptop or a computer, it can be annoying. So I don't know if you can hear this, but this is the normal mouse that I use in the room. This would be quite annoying if you're just sitting there and working in silence on your own. This mouse, you don't hear anything at all. So the Kindrum is also broadly compatible, working well with Apple, Linux, and Windows machines. It is plug and play. Just plug it in or connect it via Bluetooth and you're good to go. What I love about this mouse is you can use it for either a computer with the wireless dongle 2.4 gigahertz dongle that plugs into your wireless, um, or excuse me, well, your USB on your laptop or your computer. So you can use it wirelessly. Or it has built in 5.0 Bluetooth. If you're using it with a tablet, or in my case, if you're a Samsung user with DeX and you turn your Samsung phone into a mini computer, it's very nice to have the Bluetooth compatibility so I can use this with my phone when I'm using it like a mini computer. You change between the two modes by this, uh, well, your on and off switch here on the bottom. Center is off. One way is Bluetooth. The other way is wireless. This is really nice because if you're like me, I'm switching from laptops to desktops, often using my wireless dongle, to my Android phone. So one of the things the mouse has is a up to 33 foot or 10 meter range. So this is nice if you have your game station or maybe even your computer sitting by your lodge monitor and you're back at the table. You can be up to 33 feet away and still use the mouse. Very nice feature. Okay, now this is one of the things that I've really enjoyed about this mouse, the battery capacity. So it has a little lithium rechargeable battery. It's a 400 milliamp hour battery. Probably doesn't mean much to anybody, but what that does equate to for you is, let's get over here out of the, out of the way. <laughs> it has a standby time of 30 days and a usage time of up to 168 hours. Now, what does that mean realistically? I can tell you that I've never run out of juice using my mouse. Um, probably every 
three weeks or so, um, I'll go ahead and plug it in just because I don't want it to die when I'm using it. But I have never had it run out of juice when I'm actually in the middle of working with it. Another really nice feature is you have an adjustable sensitivity or dots per inch setting. And this is done right on the mouse. Now, you can always go into the settings of your computer, not so easy maybe on your Android phone, but at least on your computer, and you can set the tracking sensitivity or distance, how the mouse works. Um, I've always kind of set it as a one speed or sensitivity works all because it's not really easy to just go in and set this as I'm doing different things and working on my machine. But this button right here, a simple press of this button allows you to change between 800, 1200, and 1600 dots per inch when you're using it. So if you're browsing, maybe you want to go ahead and slow that down so that you have to move more. And when you're gaming, you can go ahead and dial that sensitivity up just with a simple clip of the button. The last two features outlined by the marketer are it has a 45 day unconditional satisfaction guarantee for either a refund or return. And the company offers lifetime support. Now, I can't imagine there's too much that would go wrong with it, but if you ever did have a question or something, you can call them up for the life of owning the mouse and get help. One more thing I want to go over that's not actually covered in their features, but I do think it's worth covering. Let's take a look at the bottom of the mouse here. So I call these your skid pads, and this is what the mouse rides on when you're sliding around on different surfaces. And um, it is helpful to have a larger surface. Note here how the skid surface of this goes down each, virtually the entire contact surface on each side. Now on a smooth, slick surface like this, it really doesn't matter as much. But when you're sliding around on fabric, the more skid surface that you have to move you around on it, as opposed to my traditional mouse over here that just has three little contact points, this additional skid area really helps that mouse move around on fabric and other surfaces that just don't travel as easily. Well, that about wraps it up for what I have to say about the mouse, which ironically is a lot more than I thought I would have to say. Before doing this video, I sat down and I thought, well, I really like this mouse, but what do you say? It's a mouse. But when I sat down and thought about it and how much I really enjoy it and all of the things that it really set it apart and make it unique, all for $16, turns out I had a lot more to say than I thought. I hope you liked our review of the Kinder Mouse. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to like. If you have a comment or a question, please share it. And of course, subscribe and click that little notification bell. Thank you for watching.